this video, we're going to talk about muckrakers and the uh, role that they, the integral role that they played in the progressive movement as far as getting the ideas out to the people, uh, see, at least bringing to light some of the problems uh, with society. Uh, really like the definition that I saw earlier, one who inquires into, publish, into and publishes scandals and allegations of corruption among political and business leaders. And again, this is basically what they're doing through the writing, through the photography, they're bringing to light some of the uh, issues that are facing American citizens. And again, uh, you know, for, for people who maybe are living in more rural areas, they start to see some of the problems in the city. Or for people who are uninformed, they start to see uh, issues that are going on that they could affect them, but, but probably affect other people as well. Um, yeah, the, the term was first used in 1906 by Teddy Roosevelt. We have his picture here on the left uh, where he said, a man with a muckrake in his hand who seeks worldly gain by raking filth. And again, this was uh, making reference to a character in a book called Pilgrim's Progress where uh, the, the characters were always had their head down, looking down at the ground, raking the filth, raking the muck. And they never had an opportunity to look up at the, uh, at the pretty things in life. Uh, they never looked at the sun. They never looked at the cloud. They never looked at the trees. They always had their head down. And it's what he said a lot of these uh, uh, writers were doing. Now, it kind of put a negative connotation on it. But again, in our society, as well as, as, as the early 1900s, which is when this was happening, uh, the, the writers played an important role as far as being a uh, uh, a security blanket for the people to make sure they kind of kind of to make sure the people that the government whether it be the government whether it be the police whoever it is are doing what they're supposed to do and if they're not then it's their job to uh present that to the american public so that's you know for, for they have a very very important job uh, especially when we start talking about progressivism and how it how it uh um how it grew uh they played an important role there as well First one we talk about is a lady by the name of Ida Tarbell. Um, she wrote a book called The History of Standard Oil Company, uh, which basically uh, chronicled the uh, business practices of John Rockefeller and Standard Oil. Now, she had a personal interest in this. Uh, John D. Rockefeller had put her father out of business. He was a uh, an oil company owner as well. He had put her out of business in the uh, process of monopolizing, but um, through her writings and different things like that, uh, it, it, it led the government to go after a lot of these uh, uh, trusts and, and begin to, of course, we talked before, we've talked before that Standard Oil was actually the first company to be found guilty uh, under the Sherman Antitrust Act. So a lot of the legislation against these companies was brought about because of her writings and so forth. Second uh, writer that we talk about is a guy by the name of Jacob Reese, and we say writer but he's probably better known for his photographs. Um, in his book, How the Other Half Lives, he chronicled a lot of the problems in the cities. Uh, uh, the infrastructure of the cities had not been able to keep up with the number of immigrants and number of people who were coming into uh, the cities because of industry, because of immigration and different different other, other ideas. But uh, he chronicled the lifestyle of a lot of these people. You see uh, some of the pictures here about how bleak, but, but his photographs were very, very uh, revealing because mainly because he was starting to use uh, flash photography. He was one of the first photographers to use that. And again, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, began to see these pictures and, and it began to spur a movement for tenement, that's what these tenement houses were called, tenement reform, uh, where we started to see the government create laws saying that you had to have uh, uh, fire escapes on, on these tenements and different things like that. So uh, again, this is going to spur a movement uh, of people to try to help uh, the situation that, that some of these immigrants have gotten themselves caught in as far as coming into the United States and, and uh, the conditions that they were having to live in. Uh, another guy is the guy by the name of Lincoln Stevens. Uh, basically, he 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 wrote in McClure's. We have McClure's magazine on here because that's what that's the people who published his uh, series of uh, uh, articles that were were condemning a the corruption in government. Now, eventually, they were put together into a book that you see here on the right called "The Shame of the Cities." But McClure's magazine played a very very important role in the muckrakers because uh, Ida Tarbell, several of the muckrakers wrote exposés for McClure's, but Lincoln Stevens is the one here that we talk about, and again, that would eventually lead to government reform, uh, so different things like that. Um, 
then the last one we talk about is probably the most popular one, the one that you may have known before you walked in the door, Upton Sinclair. Uh, he wrote a book called The Jungle, which uh, exposed the uh, uh, bad, <laughs> used in term very loosely there, the bad uh, meat production at a Chicago meatpacking plant. Um, it, it was written in a, in a fictional form, but uh, again, he basically, when the people started reading the books, they started to understand how bad some of the things were. Uh, he, he exposed that, you know, there were maybe rodents who had gotten chopped up into sausage and hamburger. There were uh, processes that they had began to use where if sausage had gone bad, if it was rancid and, and, and turned uh, a different color or maybe smelled bad, they were using chemicals to try to make it look like it was uh, still okay and different things like that. But uh, eventually, eventually it would lead to um, uh, better meat inspections as well as uh, the, the government stepping in a little bit later and, and creating the Food and Drug Administration would all be spurred because of this. And again, these are all examples of people uh, being exposed to these ideas because of the writers and because of photographers and photographs and different things like that. Um, but, but these are, these are what we refer to as the muckrakers. These are the group of people who began to, um, put, put the idea out there that there may be problems that people don't know about. And by putting problems out there, uh, the progressives were able to, uh, maybe fix some of the ills of society that, that they, that they were able to see because of this.